here uh, we have some uh, we talk about some memory considerations some of the things that you should know before using hyper dbg especially when, whenever you want to use uh, a script engine there are two terms that are used in the documentation of the hyper dbg and the one is safe and another one is unsafe uh, by safe we mean uh, something that works all the time and won't cause the system crash or system halt because generally it's so tricky to uh, manage codes in vmx root mode uh hyper dvg gives us a uh, hyper dvg gives the user the ability to run the custom assembly codes in all of the execution execution modes uh, including vmx root mode and vmx non root mode but Whenever the code is running in VMX uh, root mode, then you should avoid unsafe behavior because generally speaking, the unsafe behavior will lead to system instability. The, the, the general problem originates from the fact that whenever the hypervisor uh, just switches to a VMX root mode, then interrupts or uh, R flags, IF bit or interrupt flag is uh, masked. So no interrupts are allowed in VMX root mode. So uh, when, because because of that, then uh, the hyper DVG needs some extra efforts uh, to handle the memory and uh, there's no paging uh, paging is not allowed in vmx root mode uh, in hyper dvg and in uh, all of the vtx based softwares uh, because of that uh, you should not uh, access uh, to a, a page table uh, which is paged out because uh, the paging is not allowed so there is nothing to just came and bring the page the page out page to the system so you should not uh, access uh, those pages that are already page out and also you should not directly access a uh, user mode uh, location a user mode address all of them are uh, should be safely accessed through some of the routines that are provided by the hyper dvg for example by hyper dvg commands or by the commands uh, of uh, by the by those functions that are provided in the script engine so uh, hyperdvg also offers a buffer a safe buffer to you that you might use it and uh, you might use it as uh, as a place to uh, save some ordinary things like some writing some bytes safely on it but in case if you want to access a memory you should uh, whether use hyper dvg commands or use some of the functions that are provided in the S script engine this is the way that hyper dvg handles unsafe and safe memory buffers so just keep in mind do not access user mode memory some considerations need to be uh, considered and do not access pages that are already paged out because paging are disabled paging out not allowed enough for that uh another things that uh, you might it might might be interesting uh, to know uh, is this these are the things that i uh, already talked about because the whenever because generally speaking when the page uh, is out it's not possible to modify or read the memory addresses there are also some optimizations uh, in hyper dvg by using intel uh transactional synchronization extension tsx for a uh, hyper dvg before hyper dvg wants to access some memory it checks whether the address is valid and whether it's safe uh, or, or not if the page is just already page out then hyper dvg won't access it because accessing that page uh, will result in a hyper dvg halt or a vm halt will happen so hyper dvg first check whether the address is valid or not and after that tries it tries to map it to a map the physical address to a kernel valid address which is also valid for the hyper dvg uh, process to uh, to be accessed but uh, <clears throat> we have two methods of uh, of checking whether the address is valid or not the first method uh, is uh, by just traversing through the page table finding the corresponding page and checking whether uh, the attributes of the page or the optional fields of the page shows whether the page is 
present or not. This is the first way that Hyperdigi uses uh, uses uh, this uh, approach in most of the uh, kernel or VMX root functionalities. And also, if you are checking the uh, add validity of address by using uh, in in the user mode, then Hyperdigi uses the TSX because there are some transactions in the hyper uh, transactions for Intel TSX that will fail if an address is invalid so we use the this optimization to make the memory checks uh, a lot faster and uh, hyper if the tsx is not available in your system then hyper dvg will automatically switch to the classic method of checking addresses which is the, the traversing through the page table entries Another thing is pre-allocated uh, pool. Uh, it's not allowed because the paging is disabled. It's not allowed or it's not possible to allocate memory in VMX root mode. So you don't, you are not able to allocate anything any new memory. But uh, some of the functionalities like EPT hooks, monitor hooks, or if, or even the user might want uh, some. Uh, memories then there are some pre-allocated memories that are previously allocated by hyper dvg and are uh, used in the vmx root mode so um, pre-allocated pools are allocated and uh, if there is uh, no usage uh, for the al previously allocated then they are deallocated and uh, by uh, default the pre-allocated uh, pools are enough for the regular functionalities of the hyper dvg but in case you might uh, encounter some errors regarding the lack of memory which it shows you the error hyper DVG shows that i don't have uh, enough uh, pre-allocated memory uh, in such a cases uh, uh, you might use pre-alloc command this command pre-allocate some of the buffers uh, whenever it's safe and after that you you can try again with that process with that uh, with that uh, with the previous command and i uh, know hyper dvg have uh, more pre-allocated buffers to use it in vmx root mode in summary of this section we see that how what are the vtx and uh, we see some of the basic or primitive concepts about page tables and hardware page table translation then we see slat or ept and after that we saw some of the commands that are used for reading and writing uh, searching and disassembling physical memory and uh, we also see how we can convert a uh, page table from physical to virtual and virtual to physical and finally we learn some of the considerations uh, that you should make whenever using the hyper dvg in safe and uh, unsafe states so before that thanks for watching and uh, make sure to just run the <clears throat> source code the source code of the the source code that are used in the, this tutorial is also available on the files so yeah that's it have a nice day